The weight of a stone is 36 newtons. Calculate the mass of the stone. The physical equation that gives the relationship between weight and mass is W equals mg, where W is the weight in newtons, m is the mass in kilograms, and g is the acceleration due to gravity, the constant 10 meters per second square. You can modify this equation to be m equals W over g, which is 36 newtons divided by 10. This means that the mass will be 3.6 kilograms. Question 2. A rubber ball has a mass of 62 grams. Calculate the gravitational force acting on the rubber ball. The expression gravitational force, again our rule will be W equals mg. But there is something you must take care of. W equals mg. If you answer it directly, this means 62 times 10. 10 is the acceleration due to gravity g, and this shows that the weight will be 620 newtons. But this final answer is incorrect. But if you write this answer, you will only get one mark of the two marks, the mark of the method, but the mark of the final answer will be lost. The important thing here that you must take care of, that the standard unit of mass is kilograms, not grams. This means that the 62 grams must be converted to the unit kilograms. So, if you say that W equals mg, this means that m, the mass, will be 62 divided by 1000 to change it to kilograms, multiplied by 10, which is g. This shows that the weight will be 0.62 newtons. If you look at the mark scheme, the first mark is given as the method mark, saying mg, or 0.062 times 10. Or even if you write the wrong substitution, 62 times 10, this will give one mark. You can also use 9.8 or 9.81 instead of 10 for the g, the acceleration due to gravity. But if you make a wrong substitution, the final answer will be incorrect. The second mark is for the final answer, which may be 0.62 or 0.61. If you use 9.8, or it may be 0.6082. If you used 9.81, nothing else will be accepted.